Welcome to Getting to Know Quicken for Mac. Today we'll have a brief overview of the account list, the register, and the toolbars. By default in Quicken, the account section will be on the left. From inside there, you may have a banking section with your checking and credit card transactions, your investing section, as well as a property and debt section, depending on what you've added to Quicken itself. When you select an account, you'll see its register. The register is where you're going to see all of your transactions that are entered or downloaded into Quicken itself. In the upper right, you're going to be able to see your balance. That will be based on whether you download or enter your transactions manually. Above the register, you've got your toolbar. The first tab there is going to be your home screen. This gives you an overview of your spending, as well as bill and income reminders and various other features. Next is the reports tab. In there, you can get an account summary, or you can also have reports based on specific accounts, such as checking or investing or a property in debt. The budget tab goes and shows you your budgets for each year. You can break this down within 12 months or into a monthly period. You can also adjust this to suit your own personal needs. Next, you have bills and income. All of your bills and income reminders can be found on this tab. You can go and see if they're overdue, when they're due, and just keep track of them in general. The calendar view allows you to take a look at your transactions or bills or income that may show up in an easy to recognize format on a daily basis. Finally, we have the alerts tab, which is based on activity and accounts that are synced for mobile access. You can set this for an upper or lower limit or any kind of situation as far as tracking your spending. If you have none, then you're going to see all as well. Thanks for watching.